Okay, so looking in the front door, you can see brand new framing. All under the stairs, all that stuff was rotted. Uh, when we pulled the flooring out, we actually saw that a couple of them, uh, the joists had rotted through and had broken. And so it's no wonder that area of the floor had destabilized. And the more that floor dropped, the more the water that was running out of the upstairs bathroom, you know, came down the hall and across the floor and settled over here and rotted all this stuff out. So our crew got underneath and supported the stairs and all the framing that held it up using those jacks and then they were able to go back in and do all new framing actually beefed it up you know they put double joist here uh, double joist here and we'll take a look in the closet in a second you'll see how they uh, framed up the new crawl space access hole to give us better access let's walk in here and we've shown you this before this is the uh, sunken living room it looks so much better clean and dry brand new framing all the way around this is really the latest update that's going on in the house. As you can see, the back wall of the office is no more. It was right here uh, sitting on that block. And so the office, or they called it the music room because they had a piano in here, was fairly small. And as you look over here, you can see where we cut the access hole going back into the family room kitchen area. That used to be a wood box. It stopped right about uh, there. And then uh, it ran you know, floor to ceiling there. And so we cut all of that out and made that new access point. And so now the flooring will just come straight across and everything will be even, even across the top of the old porch there. And then on the back of the house, you can see these uh, temporary enclosures. Those are gonna go away. There'll be a huge uh, slider or French door unit there. And then as you can see over here uh, from the window, like the edge of the window, all the way over here to the edge of this uh, previous door opening, we'll have another big slider French door unit, and that's gonna really provide a ton of light in the back of the house here. We're also looking at enlarging this opening into the living room. So probably adding a couple more feet to this opening so that we can really take advantage of all that natural light coming to the back of the house. This uh, living room gets the morning light. You know, you get uh, the morning sun coming in through these two windows. But uh, as you can see, beside the fireplace, there's no windows there. So as evening came, uh, you weren't getting a whole lot of light into this room. It got a little bit dark. So enlarging this opening will really help us to pull in all that evening sunshine that's coming off the pool and uh, off the back of the house. So that's, that's really going to look good, really going to open things up. And as you can see there, that was the old back door that came in off the porch. It's gone now. Let's walk around the other side of the house and take a look and see how that's going to get framed out. So nice just walking across, good framing, not having to worry about falling through the floor. Uh, again, here in the dining room, we got all new framing, brand new floors. This wall, as you can see, all new. That wall had been rotted out by a leak in between the garage and the... Uh, exterior of the house, the flashing had failed there and water was running down the inside of the wall, rotted it out. Plus that was the old laundry room. They let the washer or the stationary tub or something leak at some point and rotted. So, I mean, that wall was in horrible shape. They ripped it out. It wasn't load bearing, but uh, it was, uh, you know, holding up the wall. So they went ahead and framed all new wall there. And then uh, as you can see across the kitchen, we've got double joists. Our uh, contractor has been doing all the uh, restoration work looked at this, looked at uh, the load that we were going to have here in the kitchen, you know, with all the appliances and the cabinetry and the big island and all that stuff, and said, you know what, let's do double joists across this entire span. It's amazing how much more rigid it is already, and they haven't even added the blocking, you know, in between every joist to really stiffen things up. But it's much more rigid. It's really going to support the weight of the new kitchen much better than the, uh, the previous setup. They were all just single joists. As you can look back through here, this is going back into the bathroom. We changed the framing around a little bit. This was our contractor's idea. Uh, the existing framing, when we ripped the floors out, they were running you know, front to back just like the uh, kitchen was. But the issue was is that the ductwork, which you can see kind of stubbed out there, the downstairs was heated and cooled with a unit that sat out in the garage there on the other side of that wall. And the ductwork came in and then had to drop below the floor joists and then run across the ground basically to go under this piece of conduit that feeds the electric panel. And, uh, and then came back into the kitchen here and then kind of jumped up and went under the floor joists and went across the house. So the way our contractors got it framed out, they can actually run the ductwork in between the joists 
And so all the way across this span, the ductwork can be tucked up in between the joists. It'll go over top of that piece of conduit and then dive down a little bit and go under uh, the floorboards out into the uh, crawl space under the rest of the house. So previously, the way they had it run, you couldn't even get under the ductwork to get back here if you had a plumbing problem, which explains why they never fixed the plumbing problem in this bathroom and the uh, toilet, you know, when it rotted out the floor and collapsed, uh, they never fixed it. Probably uh, part of it was access because there was a couple inches of water back here on the floor and then the ductwork was about six inches off of the, uh, off of the uh, uh, crawl space dirt floor. So really hard to get through. So they built a hanger, suspended that joist there. Uh, there's no plate running across there. They've got plenty of access to get new ductwork in there. So we're really excited about that. That's really going to open things up. Let's spin around here and look back towards the garage. So looking back towards the garage here, you can see the garage door opening is now gone. They went ahead and took that door out. This is just a temporary post. The new opening is really going to be as large as the space between the block and uh, this last two by four on the bathroom wall here. So now you're going to be looking back into the, uh, this is going to be the new butler's pantry. The electric panel on the wall there is going away. Uh, we're going to relocate that back here with the uh, HVAC systems and the water and everything else. So that panel is going away. And then all the way pretty much to the wall is going to be the butler's pantry. So it's going to be a nice space for storage and uh, extra food prep space and everything else when we have get togethers. So that's really going to open things up. Next to it, kind of over this way a little bit more, will be a staircase going up into the new upstairs addition. Very exciting stuff. So let's look back across here. Take a walk across the floor joist. So now you can kind of get an idea what it's going to look like. Once we have this crawl, once we have this uh, fireplace uh, wrapped in paneling, you can kind of envision how it's going to be wrapped in paneling. It's going to be a raised panel design with lots of uh, crown molding around the top. We're going to do a new larger uh, stone surround, and then we're going to build a new hearth with a large hearthstone uh, sitting on top of that. And so that's really going to set off this space. And now you can see with the opening that we cut on this side, you can stand here in the kitchen and see all the way. That'll, that wind is going away. Remember, that's going to be a French door or a slider. So you're going to be able to see all the way out into the pool. So we'll be able to stand here in the kitchen, get some lunch ready, watch the kids playing in the pool. So that's going to be very cool. And again, all that light is going to stream in past that fireplace and allow this space to be lighter and brighter uh, in the afternoon and evening hours. And then same thing over on the other side. Let me shinny across the floor joist here again. Same thing on this side. That uh, exposed brick that you can see there, this, this piece right here in the center of the, of the view, um, that's going to go away. We're going to saw cut that. And then we're going to have an equal sized opening on both sides. And again, you can see that, uh, that boarded up space there. Remember, that's going to be a slider. Lots of light coming in. Uh, this boarded up area here is going to be part of the other slider on the other side facing the pool. So tons of light streaming in from this space. It's really going to light, uh, lighten up and brighten up this uh, kitchen and family room area. And also, you know, this boarded up area is going away as well. That's going to be another big slider and uh, new windows on either side of that. So tremendous amount of progress has been made here. The crew has just about restored the entire floor on the downstairs. They have gone through and put an entirely new pressure treated sill all along the length of the house. So we'll never have a rot issue there again. And then they framed up and supported the existing stud wall all the way across uh, the entire house. And so from edge to edge, all the way around the entire house, we've got a brand new wall. So all the rot is gone. All the sagging uh, floor trusses and everything are gone. It's just amazing. And now remember, we've got this brand new opening here. You can see that big laminated beam that uh, goes across that opening now. That opened that, uh, la that laundry and dining room into one space. There used to be two doors, one off the kitchen uh, going to the laundry, one off the kitchen going to the dining room. The refrigerator sat in between them. And so now you got all that morning light coming in from these two big windows on the front of the house. And you've got this big opening. So you'll be able to stand, you know, just about anywhere in the back of the house and be able to look into the dining room. So it's, again, we didn't want to take away the character of their house by making it total open concept. You know, we still wanted to have uh, some wing walls on both sides. We're going to have some furniture and things uh, sitting in the dining room. There'll also be a row of cabinets all the way across the back of the, the wall there facing the garage. And there'll be a row of cabinets there, uppers and lowers, glass on top, uh, solid on the bottom. 
and there'll be a countertop across that. We'll be able to use that to uh, set food out and everything for dinners. And so that's going to give us a lot more uh, space when we decide to you know, have friends and family over do some entertaining. So we're trying to make it family friendly, but also really lighten up the space and uh, make it a lot more uh, light, bright, and, and inviting. All right, let's show you across the floor joist one more time here. I'm going to take you guys outside real quick. And we'll take a look at uh, what we're going to get into on the outside. Let's see if I can make my way across here without uh, falling into the hole. Ever so gently. There we go. It's definitely a lot more uh, sure-footed now that we've got the new lumber in there. Before, you'd walk across that and take your life into your hands, you know. All right, so all this needs dug up. Uh, you can see that the, the stumps and everything here from old bushes that have died. We've got old vines and junk going up the side of the house. Some living bushes, but they're overgrown and, and just junk at this point. So we got to dig all those out all the way over here. And this sidewalk is going to have to come out. So we're going to take the sidewalk out. And then the we're going to ditch around from this corner over to the corner of the porch. Again, all these old bushes and everything will come out. And we're going to dig a, probably about a two foot wide trench all the way down the front of the porch. And there's no gutter. You know, right now this, uh, this gutter fell off and I guess they just threw it away. Um, so there's no gutter. So we've been getting a tremendous amount of rain off the front of the roof. So no wonder we're having issues with uh, water and stuff collecting here. But you can see the, this area, it's kind of hard to tell, but this area here is higher than it is over here. So when it does rain crazy, all that water just pulls back against the foundation and sits and then finally uh, you know soaks in and goes under the crawl space uh, but again all this is getting dug out all the way down through here to this uh, corner over here and we'll meet up with the existing ditch that our contractors uh, dug out before we'll meet up here and the drainage will come all the way across here go down in here and tie into the existing uh, drainage box we didn't intend to do this originally. We thought all the water that was in the crawl space was coming from the back of the house. But then uh, later on we discovered that uh, that was not the case and we were gonna have to go ahead and dig this out. So anyways, better to find out now and uh, be able to deal with it before we get any sort of uh, finish, finishing touches on the house. You can see this brick skirt, it's cracked. Uh, that's a result of water just falling off the front of the house. And then just you know coming down, hitting this brick and sitting and driving its way into the mortar joints and then freeze and thaw, freeze and thaw, freeze and thaw. And uh, over the years, that stuff has just been broken apart and uh, unfortunately has, has been pretty much ruined. So we're anticipating at this point having to have the entire brick skirt uh, rebuilt around the house. And you can see too what the water has done to this column. I mean, it's, it's rotted the sheeting. And uh, you know our concern, of course, is that down here you've got... Uh, See if you can see underneath there. Yeah, so you've got the base for the posts that support it. I think there's four six by sixes in there. Uh, you can see the base for those posts uh, is sitting on that brick skirt. So we're going to have to <laughs> jack up this corner of the porch and actually, uh, you know, take the weight off of the brick skirt, pull that out, rebuild the brick skirt, and then put the porch back down on it. So it's going to be challenging, but. We'll get it done. We've, we've seen challenges already. 